Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are going to be setting up my budget for the month of November in every dollar. If you ever see me looking off to the side, I'm looking at my monthly cash flow plan so I can remember uh, what I put down for my income and my expenses. Sometimes I do forget. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, please consider doing so. And thank you to everyone who have already subscribed and have been supporting me since I first started on YouTube. It is greatly appreciated. So let's jump right on in to this budget. So the first thing I need to do is make a copy of October to make that my November budget. And then I'm just going to go from there and just start deleting. Once you create your first budget in every dollar, you can always copy it and make it the budget for next month. And it makes it so much easier to work with from there. I think I only had one time where something weird went down, <laughs> but, and it does happen. So for my income in the month of November, my full-time job, I'm a salary employee. And so my income is 53, 44.92 from my full-time job. Now I am going to update the savings from cash envelopes field because this will be the savings from the month of October. And I'm hoping to get $60. I'm working hard at that right there. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm having some issues, but not bad issues it's just i'm trying to plan for thanksgiving right now and so i'm kind of going over a little bit Still in october is a thing i don't know what i'm trying to do here <laughs> oh jesus what did i put here um october there we go we're gonna get it we're gonna get it but yeah it's been a little bit difficult so um get that down getting the food and then my regular food that I need just for us to maintain for the week. I do have food in the freezer and stuff, but typically it's stuff I don't want to cook <laughs> or I don't feel like throwing things out and stuff. I'm lazy. Um, okay. So for the October rollover, that's going to be what comes from my utilities. I don't know what that is right now. Um, it's still early. Today is the 21st, I believe. Yeah, it's the 21st. And so I don't get my light bill until like the end of the month. So that's when I figure out what that October rollover is going to be. And if it's less than $275, then that's the difference that I roll over into the next month's, month's budget. And I put that towards my debt there. Now I'm going to delete out um, the subscription sinking fund because that should be has been charged in October. Um, car maintenance. I've already paid for my tags. And I bought a... Get rid of that. So yeah, my total income is 5404.92, which matches a monthly cash flow plan. So if you look up here, I'm over budget. What I try to do is get this area to say it's an every dollar budget, which means it's a zero base budget. So I am going to scroll down, um, look at the Christmas funds, the subscriptions, clothing. And my shirt. So they all look right. And now over to the housing. MLGW is $275. My portion of the cell phone bill is $70. Internet. I'm dropping internet down to 110. Uh, rent is still 990.95. All right. And now I change my um, gas for the car. I'm going to budget $80 since I'm still working from home. I don't need $80, $100 budgeted for the gas for my car because I'm not really going anywhere except for on Sundays when I go um, grocery shopping or if I have doctor's appointments and stuff like that, I do those things for myself, but that's all I have. So I am going to delete the car tags line because that is already done. 
right? And so you'll see like my over budget now is at $143. Car maintenance, I'm going to add another $75 to that sinking fund. My groceries. Now I'm up in my groceries for the month. I count the number of Sundays in a month. And if it's four Sundays, I give myself 300. If it's five Sundays, I give myself 325. This is a holiday month, so I'm going to give myself 375. And that way I can make sure I have everything that I need as far as food and all that good stuff. And plus, uh, Black Friday is actually my birthday, so I'll have everything I need. I don't plan on going out on Black Friday, unless the boys, mm, I don't plan on going out on Black Friday. Um, yeah, I keep saying unless they want to go out and catch a sale, unless we're doing something for Toys for Tots this year. I might change my mind then. Uh, P.O. Box, I've already paid for that, so I could take that off my budget. Uh, Boss's Day, that snuck up on me, and I have got to remember that year over year that I do contribute to my boss's, um, boss's Day gift. So subscriptions, that's my iCloud storage is $2.99. My household envelope is $50. Laundry is $45. My pocket money is $100. Did I change that? No, I did not. I have to make sure I don't be changing stuff up on myself. And kids savings, that's my son's. That's the automatic thing. Um, it's $120, which is $60 a piece for the month. So health insurance is $22.44. My auto insurance, I'm taking out $95. $696 for my identity theft. I've already looked at the insurance sinking fund. Now, I'm $45 over budget. So the last category that I have is my debt payment. So I'm going to drop this down to $26.97.17 and see if that gives me an every dollar budget. $26.97.17. And it does. Yay! This is an easy month. <laughs> Because a lot of times, it's a boogie bear. And so you'll see that when I clicked on the student loans, you'll see my debt payment. And so I don't know. Um, you guys are used to seeing this screen with me. You see me talk about this area. But if you're new to looking at every dollar, every dollar has a way for you to put like your starting balance for your debt and then your minimum payment for that debt. So you can set all that up in the app. Um, I actually, did I do that part online? I think I did set that up online. It wasn't when I first created the account, but once I went through FPU, I did. And you'll see that today is October 21st. I can't go in here and put in a starting balance for my debt for the month of September. I won't be able to do that until, did I say September? November. <laughs> I have no idea what day it is. Um, but I can't go in and update that balance until November 1st. So I hope that makes sense. And that's why they keep it grayed out like that. Um, so I'm going to close that out. And I always like to check and see um, how much of my income is going towards that. My goal is to get to 50%. That is, I like that. It is tough to do month after month. And every dollar kind of just gives you that in like a one screenshot. Oh, now. <laughs> so it's showing me 50% um, right now. So it must be off like by a dollar, like 49.9 something. I, I don't know. But yes, yeah, saying it's 50% right now. And that's what I try to get to. So all I have to do with this particular plan is I just have to execute. A lot of times I start off at like 47 48 49 so that means that i have to start saving using um savings from my utilities savings from my cash envelopes to kind of help push me over in that area but i think that having that consistent goal in the back of my head that i want 50 percent of my income to go to my debt has helped me make the progress that i have been able to make um but it has been a like steps gradually getting 
to be more over time. Hasn't been anything easy. Um, and if you're looking at this little kite down here, that's just asking me if I'm um, if I want to look at last year's budget. That's one of the things I like about every dollar is that you could just click on that and then you can see what I was up to last year. You can see my income from last year. You can see I was side hustling last year. You can see I had a refund. Oh yeah, because I paid up my car. Um last year but you can see all of that you can see exactly what i was doing and let's see and last year you can see let me highlight that i put three thousand eighty seven dollars and sixty five cents to my debt and that was actually fifty percent of my income but i do try to do that and i like that every dollar kind of gives you that webby interface because not everybody's a pen and paper person like me pen and paper is how i remember stuff and maybe because I was born before there was internet <laughs> and it was a long time coming before, you know, that's how I have always learned. And so I, I like my paper. I've always been a stationary pen paper type person. Um, but yeah, it helps me that way. But the this right here, every dollar, what it does is it manages everything that flows through my checking account. What you guys see on paper, you see my budget. So you see the plan, paycheck to paycheck. That's the plan. Every time I get my check, this is what I do. Um, you see me documenting my cash envelopes every Saturday. What did I spend? What do I have left? Do I actually have it in my wallet? <laughs> if I did the math on paper, does my wallet match that? Um, because a lot of times that story can be two different things. I could have done something and then wait a few days and forget. So that's what the weekly check-in is about. It is, did I actually do what I said I was going to do? Yeah. Can I improve? Always. And what's in my wallet? <laughs> Does it match? You know, it, do I have shenanigans going on? Sometimes I do. <laughs> because sometimes I go in the store, I may pay for something out of my grocery envelope, and I did some grocery in part personal. So that kind of puts the pots together. That makes sure I come home and split and pay my grocery money back from my personal. So I have to make sure I dot my eyes across my T's. But every dollar is what manages my checking account. And so this is a zero-based budget, but doesn't mean I don't have I have zero in my checking account. I actually have a cushion in my checking account. I can't remember how much it is right now. One says about six hundred right now. So that's why I'm not budgeting. The gas so high is because I got a cushion I'm comfortable with being in my checking account. Something happens, I can just swipe my debit card and keep on moving. And if I need to move money from sinking funds, I can always do that after the event is how I typically do that. Um, but yeah, I have one main checking account where all my bills process through. I do have uh, two other checking accounts, but I don't really use them like that because one is where... The sinking funds are and the other is where my emergency fund is and so i shouldn't be tapping you know i want to be putting money to them but not really taking anything out and i don't like using those two debit cards but my main primary account this is what this really really represents and the flow of cash in and out and then it, it always balances itself out. I've never had any issues with uh, going into the negative since I've been budgeting, since I made every dollar kind of work for me. I know at some point in the month of November, Nicole and I will be going through our every dollar budgets because uh, we're going to be showing you a year over year over year comparison using every dollar. So that way people who, you know, you may think, well, I, I don't, I tried that app, it didn't work for me. I'm going to show y'all what it really looked like <laughs> when I was using this. It, I have a system today, but it was a system that I refined over time, and I had to find what works for Tracy, what makes the most sense for Tracy. And I'll show you guys some stuff I used to do, and I'll tell you why I stopped. But anywho, thank y'all so much for watching. And this was my every dollar budget setup. So yay! That means what we wrote on the monthly cash flow plan was right. <laughs> and I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a super fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening.
Bye. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll talk to y'all Saturday.